Welcome back to Set Like Off-Road School today with five enduro setup tips that will make trail riding a lot easier for you. Tip number one is your handlebar setup, right? You want to make sure that you have your handlebars in a neutral position and then roll them a little bit towards you. It will make it a lot easier for you to get on top of the bars, to control the bike standing up and be in a good position when you're sitting down. Tip number two is your lever position, right? You want to make sure you get your levers in a position where it's easy for you to reach them. Um, you don't want them too high up because it will just bring your shoulders too far back and you don't want them too far down. We see a lot of riders that think if they bring their levers down, it will help them get their elbows up. But there's just no way for you to be able to ride in a good body position and reach that far down. You can see mine, we sort of always start level and then you just bring them down slightly into a position where it's just comfortable to grip them. Bonus tip, especially on the clutch side, move your perch in a little bit. You can see here when we do a close up, um, I have a good about a thumb width at the end of my lever to the end of my bars. So if I do fall over, um, it's not going to uh, affect my lever right away, right? It's gonna hit the handlebars and um, my levers are safe. It also gives me a good position for my finger on the clutch. I have a little bit more leverage on the, on the clutch lever, which makes the overall riding experience a lot easier. Tip number three is suspension setup. But before we get into that, if you like our content, please do us a favor. Just click down here real quick, which says subscribe, subscribe to the channel, leave us a like. It helps us out a lot. Suspension is obviously key when you're trail riding and a lot of people are so they get lost in their setups. What we always recommend, especially if you don't know where you want to be, uh, you, you turn your clickers all the way in, fork and shock on the compression, and then you turn them back out count the clicks, see how much you have. You can also read that up in your manual, but it's easy, just turn them in all the way out, count your clicks, and then you go 50% back in. So if you turn your clickers out, and let's say you have 28 clicks, you go 14 back in. That puts you right in the middle of your sort of uh, setup, a very neutral setup, and then you go right from there. If it feels too harsh or too stiff, you soften it up a little bit more. At that point, you do two clicks at a time. If it feels too soft, you just two clicks, uh, more compression, more compression, and then you just start from there. So you just put all your setups right in the middle and then start working it from there. Tip number four is your setup for your rear brake lever and your shift lever, right? You wanna make sure that they're just slightly higher than your foot peg so that it's easy for you to, on the shifting side, get underneath the shift lever. And on the braking side, you want to be able to engage the rear brake and be level with your foot peg. You don't want to run your brake lever too low, so you have to reach down um, because it throws off your body position, right? If you have to step too far down to engage the rear brake, it brings your hips forward, moves your knees forward, and it just becomes really hard to be riding standing up. Tip number five is tire pressure, right? And that obviously depends a little bit on what sort of terrain you're riding. Um, if you're riding in the rock, soft sand, uh, maybe some slick, muddy terrain, but in general, between 15 to 18 PSI is usually a setup you can get away with, right? That's something that gives you a variety of terrain that you can ride in. So we always recommend um, 18 in the rear and then sort of like 16 in the front. That gives you sort of like a good sweet spot um, and a solid setup. That's it, those are five tips that will make setting up your Enduro bike a lot easier. Uh, comment below what you struggle with the most as far as bike setup and we'll throw out a video, um, give you some advice on that. Thank you guys very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.